Hey everyone, welcome back to the Going Zero Waste YouTube channel. I'm Katherine Kellogg. <laughs> and today we're gonna be talking about ways to store food without plastic. I feel like my intros should just be like as cheesy as possible. I just don't feel like there's any way around it. I don't feel like there's any way for me to naturally introduce something without being like, hello, welcome. <sighs> If you have any like severe obligation to that happening, speak now or forever hold your peace. Also, new hairstyle today. I put my hair in a ponytail. That never happens. So I'm uh, debating on whether this is um, cute or not or a style I should wear more often. So I don't know. So let me know if you like it in the comments. Also, please be nice. A ways, a ways to store food without plastic. So number one, stasher bags. These are silicone bags. So instead of using plastic bags, you can use silicone bags. I like to use these for things like sandwiches. And also it's really great for portable purposes um, because they do slip thinly into a backpack. My husband commutes and using glass containers isn't super ideal for him when he's traveling. Number two, stainless steel containers. I love using my stainless steel containers for lunch or for leftovers to go from you know the restaurant and bring it back home. However, the only downside to these containers is you can't see through them. So you can't see what food you have. So if you're using them, just be careful that you make sure and remember what you put in them and they don't get lost in the back of the fridge. And then you open them months later to only realize that what was actually inside has now grown into something that is horrible and terrifying. Beeswax wraps. So beeswax wraps are great because you can also you can use them, you can mold them around things. So if you have like two slices of pizza that you wanna save, you can just mold the beeswax wrap around them. You can also put it over your bowl or cover your plate. So that way, if you wanna make a plate, save it for later, you can use a beeswax wrap. Remember, in order to make them really tacky, you need to ball them up really, really small, and then you can use them, use them to cover. And the, the more you work them in your hands, the tackier they are to stick to whatever you're using. The bowl and plate method. I love this method. You just have a bowl and if you just want to save it for, you know, only a few hours later or just for the next day, you can just put a plate right on top of the bowl. Awesome. Glass snapware should be no surprise unless you're new to my channel that I have a major love affair with glass snapware. <gasps> that rhyme. Mason jars. Mason jars, mason jars, mason jars. Who doesn't love a mason jar? You can use a mason jar for a ton of things and storing food is absolutely one of them. Actually, I think that was pretty much why they were invented was to can and store food. So yeah, they work great. I love putting leftovers in them. Of course, some things aren't super practical to put in there like sandwiches, which I have done before. Don't recommend that. But things like soups, salads, pasta, there are a lot of things you can put in a mason jar. Mixing bowls with lids. I think my nature is just cheesy. I think I'm just like naturally like a really cheesy, excitable person. I'm just a cheesy person, I guess. I'm, yeah, I mean, like, I've never been cool. Like, there's never been a day in my life where people are like, Catherine Kellogg is cool. Catherine Kellogg's a nerd. <laughs> Mixing bowls with lids. I got these as a Christmas present for my dad, and I absolutely love them. They work so great. I use them often, most often to store greens. And so I also use these things to store produce as well, other than just leftovers. But if it is like a big holiday and I like invite people over and you know, I'm making a big spread like Thanksgiving, I love, love, love for parties to put these out, serve the food and them. And then at the end of the night, I just walk by, put the lids on them, put them in the fridge and then clean up CZ. And that's awesome. Yes, I love multi-purpose items that can be used for displaying food and storing food. <sighs> love my mixing bowls. And then, you know, honestly, anything with a lid can be, uh, if it's not plastic, anything with a lid that's not plastic can be a plastic storage container for your food. So pots, I use pots. I store food in pots all the time. So if you make something, you have leftovers, you just put the lid on the pot and you can put it in the fridge or the crock pot, just put the lid on it. Yeah. That's great. Fewer dishes. That's what I'm about. Fewer dishes. All right. <laughs> That's it. Those are the things I got for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Press that big red subscribe button to be notified when new videos are coming out. And I will see you next Wednesday with a new video. Bye.